Hello everyone. Tip number eight is engage with the natural world around you. So think of this. Most of our relationships and interactions in modern day is either human to human or human to man-made object or man-made technology. We are not directly interacting and experiencing the natural world. It seems that this, you know, nature or it is just scenery. It's the backdrop to my life. My life is the main character. But if we allow ourselves to, our senses to draw us into a relationship with nature and literally experience our lives within nature, we begin to have a shift. I can speak for my own um, self that when I began to shift and instead of having nature be like I said the backdrop I brought it to the forefront and started seeing it as the co-star to Calliope's life I started to the more I would sit and allow my senses to direct my curiosity and look at things, my own life would begin to fall away. And that narrow focus that I had on my own problems and the feeling of, oh, I'm trapped or the, the life that I want to live is not possible or there's a debt to be paid if I want to feel this better. Da, da, that narrow focus is now broadened. I zoom out just like a lens and start to see the wonders and marvels that are unfolding beneath my very eyes constantly. It's summertime right now in the Northern Hemisphere and everywhere it's teeming with life. You know, canopies, the trees are just so lush and green and full and little critters everywhere, you know, been from springtime, little fledglings are starting to fly and baby raccoons and <laughs> all sorts of um, animals are growing. You see life everywhere. And when I sit to observe the interactions or the movements and expressions of a little chipmunk, or I pay attention to the dialogue between two cardinals, I just allow myself to feel the breeze on my skin and when that subtle shift in temperature happens all these things alter completely my own experience of my life I no longer am moving through the world in my habitual ways of seeing it as all right gotta go yeah that's nice it would be nice to stop and smell the roses but maybe another day I've shifted from that and now when I do see all these things in summertime that are teeming with life, I realize, wait a minute, all this green really is nature capturing sunlight. So all that heat and light and energy from the sun is being converted into organic form, into tangible matter constantly all around me. And then all these little animals are eating and converting that form into a different life form. They're little mammals or um, birds or reptiles, whatever. And all of this begins to make me see what an awe-filled world it is constantly right now and how many worlds within worlds within worlds exist at the same time as my own life and problems uh, exist and that it just puts everything in perspective. I'm always in a different place after spending not even a lot of time, even a, a, a few minutes of engaged, you know, um, interaction right so not just letting things pass me by but 
consciously noticing all of my sensory information and that silent conversation that my body is having with the natural world back and forth. Both are shifting. The natural world is constantly changing and slightly shifting and my body is responding to it, especially if I bring more attention and awareness to that interaction. So there you have it. That is my favorite tip and my go-to. I don't know why I left it for number eight. <laughs> Um, but to deal with anxiety and when you start to spiral into overwhelm, head outdoors, just outside your own door is enough. Engage with the natural world and as you do, watch your own troubles fall away. Let me know if you try it, what experience you have. I love hearing. I'm very curious. Let me know. So write in the comments below if you're comfortable doing so, and I will see you in the next video.